Hello. Today we're going to be talking about and meditating on forgiveness. Now, I don't know about you, but forgiveness has been a challenge in my life, but I've had some realizations when I use spiritual knowledge to understand this virtue. So I thought I'd share that with you. So forgiveness, it's very interesting about forgiveness. A lot of times when we feel we can't forgive the self or someone, we start to think about the mistake. Like I think I made this terrible mistake last year or whenever, and so I can't forgive myself for that. So it's like the mistake I made becomes like a tale, <laughs> and it's always there when I'm thinking of forgiving, or if I want to forgive someone else. I bet that you're thinking of the thing that person did to you when you try to forgive. So I think that this is fundamentally incorrect way to try to forgive. We don't want to think of the wrong thing. We want to think of the right thing. So when I think of forgiveness, I think of a parent. I think of a loving mother or a loving father. That they know their child as that one really is. And they see them with that vision. So perhaps their child did something very wrong, but they're not staying focused on that wrong thing when they think about their son or daughter but rather they're just loving them as they always have, as a parent does love a child. So what's in their vision is what they love, just a vision of love. And they know the main thing is that they know them as they really are. So then we can think about the supreme parent, God, right? our mother and father the one who plays the masculine and feminine role of the perfect parent. And that one knows us as we really are. When he looks at us, when the Supreme Being looks at us, he looks at us with the vision of my pure, sweet child, my child who's innocent, my child who always has the best intentions. And this is something that this beautiful vision that God has on us is very uplifting and very empowering and transformative. So if you can remember in your life, any time that you experienced a good friend or parent or someone having a supportive vision on you, maybe after you've made a mistake, or maybe just in general when you're not feeling so confident, and they look at you, not in the weak form that you're looking at yourself, or not looking at the mistake that you made, but they see you with the eyes of love. And they see you as you really are. And this allows us to just lift out of that kind of dark cloud of seeing ourselves in a negative way. So I really feel in our life to have the supportive vision of someone who sees us really with love as we truly are, rather than focusing on what we've done wrong, is very essential. Now, ultimately, we need to learn how to have that vision on ourselves, And I feel that that could be a definition of meditation is to have a vision on the self, a true vision on the self, seeing myself as I really am as a spiritual being. So how have I been seeing myself before meditation in my life? I looked in the mirror, I saw my image, I looked at everything I did, I, I identified myself with you know, all, all of the things I've done in my life, my occupation and all the good and bad things. And so, of course, that when I define myself 
as a being um, just with all these physical labels and with this physical name and form, then when I do something wrong, it's going to be very difficult to quote unquote forgive, right? Because I'm not going to see myself as I am. So I feel that really the seed of forgiveness is love. That it's not really forgiveness, but rather just having love. And that when we think about someone in our life that had that unconditional love for us and who didn't even have to forgive, or if we think about the vision that God has on me, on us, um, I can begin to practice having that vision for myself. And this is like a beautiful practice we can have daily to just see myself as this beautiful, sparkling, eternal soul and all the qualities that I know that I have that are my true qualities. Like perhaps I'm very generous or I'm very light or very innocent and I, I might be um, um, just very simple, someone who can listen to people, respectful, I might be self-confident. There's a whole long list. So to begin to hold that in my awareness and in my vision when I look at my own self. And that means that it's going to become a habit to see myself like this. And then less and less, it's going to be a question of forgiving. I'm just going to have that self-love that I'll make it light, right? Life is, I've heard, you know, this is not a dress rehearsal, but <laughs> we do make mistakes, right? So it's okay. Every day, every moment is new. Every day is new. We wake up again. We have a chance to do it again. And let's be light on ourselves and enjoy the ride. Um, and I think that one way to really do that well is to spend that time with the self every day in this kind of meditation where I see my good qualities and I emerge them and I don't only, only see them but I start to practice them and use them in my life because as I use them in my life then I really know that I'm a really good person I'm great I have a, you know a lot of divinity I'm God's child and I'll give myself chances you know when I make little mistakes that I won't feel like this is the biggest thing, the most important thing for me to focus on right now. Because I know that I have much better things to give to the world, a lot of positive things. Right? So whatever we focus on, this is what we're able to share with others. And of course, the first step is forgiving the self. And then once I learn how to have that loving vision towards the self, and naturally loving the self, next step is naturally forgiving. It's like the fruit that comes from the seed of love. Then I'll be able to share that loving vision towards others. I'll be able to see others in this light as well. Um, but just to remind you that a really beautiful first step for that is to experience this vision from someone else. And oftentimes it could be a parent, a good friend, or, or God. So I thought it might be nice to experience this in meditation now. <clears throat> so let's start this meditation in the present moment. I'm just right here in the beautiful sacred space of the now. And imagine yourself as a being of light. Let everything else melt away. This name, this face, all the roles and responsibilities that I hold, 
all the relationships, just let that all fall away. And sitting in this present moment, just imagine a beautiful sparkling light. And now let me imagine another beautiful light above me. A supreme, bright being of light radiating love and power upon I, the soul. It's like sitting underneath a shower of purifying light and love. And under this shower, any limited vision I had towards myself gets washed away. And just this sparkling light, I'm filled with peace and I'm spreading peace. I'm filled with compassion for the self and for all others. And as I feel the shower of love from above, I fill my spiritual heart with more love, more compassion. This is who I really am. This being who only wants to share my goodness, to receive goodness from the ocean of goodness, to feel good, and to share goodness. I am a child of the ocean of all goodness. This is why I've always wanted to feel happy and light and free. And so I keep ta taking these rays of pure power from the Supreme One, filling my heart and sending out this energy. Any darkness I held in my heart gets replaced with these feelings of love and contentment. I know that this is who I really am. So all I need to do 